You ready? All right. All right, guys, we have a ton of work to do today, but uh, first things first, we have a little unboxing that Chip, this is the brother. I'm here for Brothers Drift. Took a well, while. So he has to do a little unboxing to see something that I had done that he don't know about yet. So, and that box is right there. Did you bring a knife? Oh, you got a knife. It's a crusty Christmas. <laughs> well, it's relevant. It's not what you hope it is. Okay. It's the crusty version of what you hope it is. Oh. Oh, snap. <laughs> so we were gonna do coilovers, but like the cheap coilovers are, you know, kind of not where we want to end up ultimately. So I got these SR lowering springs used. They don't even look used, do they? From American Muscle for under a hundred bucks. There is no way these are used. Under a hundred bucks, dude. Like maybe bought and returned. Exactly. These have never been on a car. Never been on a car. Yeah, they were too good of a deal to pass up. Less than half price. So every now and again, you can go to American Muscle and get a deal. So always look for open box when you can, especially if you're doing a crusted build like this. Match. What do you think? You like it? Yeah. All right. Are we installing them right now? We're installing them. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, look at the off-road spec of the stock springs. And Chip and I even wonder, are these like springs out of something else? Because look, I mean, look how big they are. That is more than an inch and a half drop. That's a, ran and, that's a ranger spring. <laughs> I don't even know what this came out of. But the back end looked jacked up. And let me literally like higher than factory. And then you look at the lowering spring. I mean, I don't know. That's, that's close to two and a half, three inches right off the bat. So... It's gonna be dramatically different. Yeah, all right, go ahead, I'll film you. <clears throat> Beehive at the bottom. All right, now we're gonna do the front, and I guess the game plan is to detach the sway bar here, and then the shock, detach that, 
and it ought to fall pretty free from there to where we can wedge out the spring. I think that, I think that'll be enough. And so all wide open. We probably did things a little bit differently. We decided to detach from the top because that was easier and just compressed it, pulled it out and everything came apart once we um, released the tie rod there for, uh, from the, uh, the sway bar link. So there you go. All right, time for a little before and after action. SR Springs, one and a half inch lower on 19 inch 2015 wheels and boom. This is the other brother, the baby brother. Don't wreck it. <laughs> Don't wreck it. <laughs> I guess he's getting a feel for it. We're going to get some angle. If you made it this far, here's a burnout for you. Thanks for watching.